Tonight, we're going to be talking to you about facts related to the ulnar nerve. The ulnar nerve got many facts, and they are very important. One of the facts is the causes. And you can find that the anconius ibitricrealis is a cause for our ulnar nerve compression. The most common cause is compression between the two heads of the flexor carbi and naris, but there is a lot of other causes. The other fact is the origin of the under nerve. It comes from C8 T1. The same thing that can give us Horner's syndrome. Horner's syndrome means bad prognosis for brachial plexus injury. When we ask the question, which nerve roots are involved? It's CAT1, the same like an under nerve. The third fact is the first dorsal interosseous muscle is important. The ulnar nerve supply the interossei. And you can see the wasting, which means bad prognosis. So when we ask the question, wasting of the marked muscle indicates a lesion of and they said radial nerve. I don't know why, but the correct answer is the ulnar nerve, which is different than wasting of the thinner muscles. So when I ask the question, this patient suffers from and people say carpal tunnel syndrome. They got it correct. In fact, close to 4,000 people answered that question. Fact number four is Martin Gruber anastomosis. There's some anomalies that can happen between the median nerve and the under nerve. And it can confuse the picture, can confuse the clinical picture and the EMG findings. Fact number five, elbow flexion decreases the cubital tunnel by about 40%. That's why the excessive use of cell phone may contribute to cubital tunnel syndrome. Fact number six, the dorsal cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve is important. So if you have a high ulnar nerve lesion, like one at the elbow, you will lose sensation in this dorsal area, one and a half fingers medially. These are the two branches. In the forearm, one at the dorsal, and one is the palmar. So the palmar will go to the hypothenar area and give sensation there. But the under nerve itself, which is here, will divide into a deep one and superficial one, and the superficial branch will give you the volar one and a half fingers. So let's see that in the next slides. This is the palmar area that comes from the palmar cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve. And this is the area that comes from the superficial branch.
This is fact number seven. Clawing of the hand. If you have a low ulnar nerve lesion, you will get clawing of the hand. Means low means below the elbow. So let me straighten this one in a better way. <clears throat> if you have a high ulnar nerve injury, you get loss of sensation in the dorsal medial hand. And you may not get clawing. But if you have a low ulnar nerve lesion, means below the elbow, you will get clawing, but you are not going to get loss of sensation in the dorsum of the ulnar hand or in the ulnar dorsal hand. So which nerve is affected here? People mix up between clawing of the hand and the Benedictine sign. This is an anterior interosseous nerve injury. They cannot bend the tip of the index finger. But you see, he's bending the other medial three fingers. Clawing is for four and five fingers. Why is that? Because the under nerve gives motor branches to the medial half of the profundus. The other half gets innervation from the median nerve. So when you have a low under nerve palsy, the enterocci will be out. But the profundus for these medial fingers will be working and will create clawing of the two fingers and are not opposed by the function of the intrinsics. Especially the, the lumbar kills. Here is another fact, Wartenberg sign. Look at that abduction of the fifth finger. Is it a function when you say, what is the function? Is the under nerve causes this? Yes. So that will be abduction. That will be the dorsal interosseae if it is function. But if it is loss, then you lost the abduction pad, pad. Palmer abduction, Palmer interossei. So here, what you lost for Wartenberg sign is the abduction caused by the Palmer interossei. Wartenberg sign is different than Wartenberg syndrome, which is caused by entrapment of the superficial radial nerve between the brachioradialis and the extensor carboradialis longus. So it's about eight centimeter from the joint. And if you put uh, uh, handcuffs or watch or bracelet, you know, in this area, it can create irritation of the nerve. Which nerve is involved here? The under nerve, because of that Wartenberg sign. Very clear. Do you love it? Do you like that? The answer that. How about arcade over struthers is another cause for pinching the ulnar nerve around the elbow. And you can see here that arcade over struthers, it's high up here. Which is different than ligament over struthers that can pinch a median nerve. Look at the median nerve here. Look at the spur. The ligament comes from the spur down. 
and pinch, pinch the median nerve is different than the arcade. The arcade is an arcade of struthers. The ligament comes from a square, from a piece of bone. How about fact number 10, the Froman sign. Froman sign, when you lose the abduction, then you ask the person to pinch a piece of paper. The abductor is supplied by the under nerve. So when you pinch a piece of paper, there's no abduction. So the person bends the thumb. And that will be a positive from and sign. But it is complicated. So let's see why it's complicated. So when we ask them, this abnormal pinching is due to injury of, and they said the median nerve, because the mixing median nerve function, normal function is to make the okay. The mixing median nerve function to make the okay with an under nerve function that bend the thumb when that under nerve is not working. So you can easily mess that question if you mix median nerve normal function, which to make the okay, with under nerve lack of function when you also make the okay. So median nerve loss of function, you are not going to make the okay, but that will be good for a good under nerve. But under nerve dysfunction, and you can pinch a piece of paper like the one you see, it's a good function for the median nerve because you can do the okay. You can do the okay. The okay is okay for the median nerve, but the okay is not okay for the under nerve. So this is the anterior interosseous nerve, and this is the classic okay on the left, and the abnormal one is on the right. Fact 11, the null sign is good for the diagnosis. You tap on you know, the elbow area medially and you find that the under nerve is irritated. Sometimes you have medial epicondylitis and if you have an under nerve symptoms with it and if you're gonna do something to the under nerve, uh, maybe the result is not as great, you know, as if it is just medial epicondylitis alone. Fact number 12, check differential diagnosis. You may think it's cubital tunnel, but it may be double crush. You may have um, disc herniation with radicular compression. You may have thoracic outlet syndrome. Look at that decreased sensation in the fourth and fifth fingers. When somebody uh, young or somebody just uh, recover from anesthesia, you're not gonna ask them to abduct and abduct. You're gonna ask them, do you feel here? So this is a good test for the under nerve, the feeling in the fourth and fifth fingers. Usually have the fourth fingers. The last fact is when you have extension type injury, supracondylar fracture in uh, children, you will get anterior interosseous nerve. But if you have flexion type, you get the ulnar nerve. You get an ulnar nerve injury. Usually uh, that it becomes more complicated. Uh, the patient may need open reduction. Surgery takes longer. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.